Well, in the community today, we're talking about sports and football specifically, and we got one of the pros to talk about it because he knows Chris Isaac, the assistant coach for Sturgeon Football. Hey, Dave, how's it going? It's great to have you here. This is exciting. What Thanks a great field. Um, talk about Sturgeon Football. Uh, we've been going around for a lot of years now. So we're on a uh, travel. We're just getting our season started. Uh, we have our first game this uh, Saturday on the road. Right. All three levels of the team, we play in Kitchener. So uh, we usually start practicing about March, beginning of March. They do like, a couple months of inside practice, then right. we're outside. Now we're uh, just itching to get out there and play some football and hit some people. Right. So different levels here. Like, um, what are the age groups that? Are... Uh, we got the Pee Wee level, which is basically grades uh, five to six, so it's 11, 12, or 10, 11, sorry. And then our Bantam is 12, 13. Okay. And then we have our JV team, which is 14, 15. So it's grades right. uh, nine to 10, basically. And how long have you been involved? Uh, last five years, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Off and on. Uh, I was been with SMA for the last seven years. Right. Yeah, at least last seven years, and then uh, help out here and there when I can into the uh, summer. Right. What kind of challenges are there with putting something like this on, though? I know, like, this is a beautiful field here at Norm Perry, and uh, the guys are throwing the footballs <laughs> around here. They're all trying to get So you guys can all come in in the shop behind you if you want. Hop in here if you want. And uh, what, what kind of challenges, though, happen for trying to coach something like this? Uh, it's a lot of trying to get everybody out in time. It's uh, There's a lot of effort to it, a lot of... Uh, time constraints I guess we right. you know you try to get as much practice in you can when we get hot weather like this today you want to yeah. make sure we kind of moderate how much we uh, we go sure they uh, they have a lot of regulations now they like us to try and keep with everybody as far as hitting they don't want to touch too Gotta much on safe. the bodies yeah, yeah. yeah. with concussion protocols now there's sure. a lot of things that we watch for yeah so it's just a matter of keeping every healthy in time for games with a lot of practice right, right. we got to get a lot of practice time in so the public's welcome to come out and watch here in Norman Perry Park. Um, how can they find a schedule? Where do they go? Uh, we can go on the Sarny Sturgeons. It's uh, www.sarnysturgeons.com. Okay. It'll give you uh, your schedule on there. All our home games are on Sundays. Right. And uh, yeah, it's about I guess it's probably 11 to the next 12 weeks. I think they said we're yeah. there'll be teams playing on the Sundays. Great. And uh, students are three free, and adults are five bucks a game. Perfect. Sounds great. Chris Isaac, thanks so much for thanks, talking Dave. to us. It's great to get out and do something here in the community. And there's just one more thing. Sports, Sturgeon football here at Norman Perry Park. Go to the website, find the schedule. For the Video Show Network, I'm David Burrows. Thanks Go for Sturgeon. watching. <laughs> this has been another Sarnia Lampton Community Update on the Video Show Network, tvsn.ca.